Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a, a day in my life on my period. So this is the first time I've ever filmed one of these vlogs, but I now have a very healthy relationship with my period and I didn't think I'd ever be able to say this. So definitely like this video if you enjoy it and we'll dive straight into my day. Okay, so officially good morning, and um, this chaotic energy can definitely be explained by the fact that I was the only one in the house that morning. We are very pink today, don't we just love it? I am wearing this new New Balance top, which I haven't actually worn yet, but it was part of their range for this year's London Marathon. But yeah, it is Tuesday today, um, Tuesday the 18th i think of october and basically i haven't really done this before but i wanted to kind of show you guys a day in my life on my period although this is the last day of my period and so it's really light um i still have the menstrual cup in sorry this is so tmi at the start of the video but i just wanted to film like a day in my life on my period i mean this period has been so interesting i'm gonna say but yeah, i am actually working with fitbit in this video which is honestly so perfect this is their new versa 4. i actually went for a different color this time i usually go for like black as you guys know kind of boring we could say but yeah this is the waterfall platinum color i honestly love the design i think it's really nice it is a fitness smartwatch and it is like designed for fitness it has like over 40 different exercise modes yeah the first thing to say is something i've mentioned before um i am not one to encourage obsessive or controlling use of fitness watches but there is like a huge benefit i feel and it can be really good to like monitor certain things like i use it to track my runs track my heart rate during my workouts um track sleep data i pretty much have everything in one place on the app so this is the app here i also track my period in the app this is what it kind of looks like and it tells me how long my cycle is on average um it predicts when my next period is gonna be i can log details um regarding like how heavy my flow is how i feel in terms of my mood physical kind of symptoms like bloating and my sleep data is something that i honestly love seeing in this app and that just might be the biologist in me but i also feel like having seen my sleep data and my sleep scores so for example when i was traveling my sleep was not great at all but that really motivated me to like want to get more sleep and actually improve my sleep score that's where data can be really useful like you can see it in front of you and it can like motivate you to do something to improve it and so for me recently i have literally been getting such good sleep my sleep score which fitbit calculates based on how long you sleep for and your quality of sleep it's been over 90 like every day for the past few days like i aim for seven to eight hours sleep but when i was traveling i was not getting anywhere near that and i didn't realize that until i used my watch to be like okay we need to actually do something about this but that's basically a bit about the watch what it can do and how i kind of have been using fitbit and if you guys are interested in checking out this watch or any other watches that they do then i will leave a link to that down in my description box but i am going to go on a run now um because the sun is shining another huge shout out to fitbit and i should just say if you get the versa 4 then it comes with six months membership to fitbit premium which is so good but as i said i went out on my run that morning i just had to walk my way through these puddles and all this mud probably wasn't the best idea to come this way but i really love this route through the fields so we're gonna keep running oh my god it's so muddy this is where we're going into the forest well not really but into the ow bushes ah 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 feet are so wet already oh my god the reason why my hamstrings are tight today is because i was doing a lot of romanian deadlifts um at the gym yesterday with my dumbbells but yeah for this period like over the last week i generally felt quite tired in the legs but like every period is very different for me like bottom line i don't know how i'm really gonna feel because sometimes I feel so energetic on my period and it doesn't really change how I feel. Sorry, there's more mud. Like they just confuse me for the first time in my life. I'm actually starting to regulate them, but 
they still surprise me every single time. All the horses are coming to say hi. Oh my gosh, this one's like the Barbie horse, but it's a Shetland Barbie horse. Hi. Then we have a friend as well. Good morning. Oh, they're having a little smooch. Right. Oh, okay. That's a bit inappropriate. Basically, whether I run on my period or not very much just depends on how I'm feeling. But this run was really good anyway, just to be outside in the morning sunshine. Then I just got back to get ready for the rest of my day. Obviously, I find the data from my watch super useful. But as you guys know, I don't wear it all the time. And I will often take it off directly after working out because it's sweaty. I literally couldn't be wearing any more black if I tried. And this is my classic Holy Green smoothie with bananas, frozen mango, spinach, soy milk, hemp protein powder today. I was literally gonna pour it into my mason jar of water, which would not have gone well. But yeah, that's generally, I think, most of the stuff that's in here. Very simple um, and quick to make. I like to have something edible, like whole alongside a smoothie. Um, so this has like berries, blueberries, cherries, oats, flaxseed, a random concoction of everything I want. Um, and then this is my hot lemon. Well, it's yet to be hot lemon. I need to add lemon and then water. We need a straw, right? But yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs and prep for tutoring, which I have later. And then we are gonna go to the gym. That's the plan, okay? Mm. The simple combination of bananas and like soy milk. It's just beautiful. It's so creamy. It's so, mm, just, the best. The weather is so, so nice today. Um, like blue sky, autumnal colors, like couldn't ask for anything better to be honest with you. Thank you, UK. So being totally honest with you guys, sometimes when I am on my period, I do not feel motivated at all. Like I will sit at my desk, but I'll experience really bad bouts of imposter syndrome. I'll think really negatively about myself and what I'm doing. I'll constantly put myself down and it's just one huge negative spiral and a very slippery slope to go down. But I do know it is always related to my hormones at this time of the month. And so I've realized that the best thing I can do in that situation is take a deep breath and literally just move away from my desk entirely. I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about my period and how I've kind of felt after this one, which as I said on my run, we kind of started a conversation but didn't really finish it. I still don't really know what my body wants to do, okay? If you don't know my backstory, I can link videos down below. But I have struggled for like seven eight years plus with hypothalamic amenorrhea often just shortened to ha and yeah the first thing i need to say is that if you do not have a period because of like myself you are under eating over exercising you're very stressed you need to do something about it straight away like please do not ignore it for so long like that's what i did and if i could tell my younger self anything i would just say like holly that is not okay it is unhealthy it is clearly a sign that your body is not functioning properly but basically fast forwarding to now i have finally kind of reached a place where i have regulated my periods as i said my symptoms like my mental and physical symptoms seem to change every single time this period in particular has just been so strange like so so different every other period i've had one of my main physical symptoms is definitely bloating um i am yet to still work out when in my cycle i am prone to bloating but this time it seemed to be on my period itself i had like really weird back pains on the first day like shooting pains in my side i have some cramping this morning like back pain down the side of my back which i haven't actually ever had before they feel kind of like spasms i've never had this before like i've experienced bloating and some cramping but not like these weird spasm things i was really confused so that was like the first day and then towards the end of my period so when was this um not yesterday but the day before so sunday i also felt really weird as well i am literally starving today i have been hungry all day and every time i've been to the toilet i've been to the toilet toilet it's like i eat and it comes out like literally the whole day like it's so strange like i feel so bloated like every day but my period isn't very heavy very strange very very strange but right now i need to go and get food again so it's been all over the place and 
as I said, my mood has been very off this period. It's definitely thrown me off. I've definitely felt not so happy or positive in myself. Um, really quite agitated, getting annoyed and stressed quite easily. And that's something that I sometimes refuse to accept or acknowledge. Um, or at least I don't vocalize it. I just internalize it and try and process it internally, which often doesn't happen or it isn't the best way to go about it but yeah so today is the first day when i'm starting to feel a bit better in myself but yeah it is kind of just a bit of a weird one and i'm still trying to navigate this but even though all of this stuff can be a nuisance um like i am just so so happy that i finally reached a point where my body is healthy enough and happy enough to give me a period like it's just like so so good i've come like such a long way you know like when i first got my period back like a couple of years ago it has been on and off since then but when i first got it back i didn't want it back i wanted to try and do everything to try and like get it to go away again and that was just not okay um at all and last year when i was training for the marathon so i trained over a much longer period my period went away again i didn't mention this at the time and i might even address it in a whole separate video talking about like running and exercising and periods but like i lost my period again my body was trying to give me a period i know that because i was having bloating spells again and like weird kind of discharge right it's a normal natural thing we need to talk about it you know and normalize it but my body was giving me the signs and symptoms but i just wasn't bleeding essentially i wasn't having the actual period so yeah that was kind of frustrating like i felt like i was feeling myself enough but maybe i wasn't i don't know i was very new to that intensity of endurance training and my cortisol levels were probably also sky high just because when you are running a lot and doing a lot of high intensity cardio that's what happens and that can also affect your period so yeah i don't really know exactly what was going on but i just couldn't get it to come back again and so after the marathon i had to work to bring it back again um, and go through all of the steps that i had used previously to do that and i have a whole video about that but this year as i said i managed to keep my period and i was so happy i was running with like the marathon in mind when i was traveling but as i've said in my marathon training video like i trained intensely over three weeks when i got home and yeah i kept my period but that's just kind of a little chat about my recent periods we could say um how i'm feeling and practically as you guys know i use the menstrual cup i feel like i've become such an expert like i can put it in and take it out really quickly most of the time my flows and my periods aren't very heavy at all so i only change it twice a day but yeah we're gonna go on a little walk now <laughs> So as I said, this was like the last day of my period and I was starting to feel happier again and better in myself. And when I say that my mental health was really quite badly affected during this period, I am not even joking. I just felt really low and you know, body image and thinking negatively about the way your body looks because maybe you feel more bloated on your period, you know, that can really come into play and it can really mess with your mind. Everyone will have good days and bad days, good body image days where you feel so confident in your body but other days when you don't feel so great it is normal and i think we all go through this but you need to find the ways in which you deal with it i am starting to create my own kind of like list of things i can do when i feel like this but it just takes time and obviously as i said i've come such a long way but you know we are all still going to naturally have these ups and downs i thought the gym was going to be really busy um but it actually wasn't and yeah i'm just in the changing room which is empty well i think it's empty um but yeah i just did some abs and upper body which was good um my airpods though they died literally as i stepped outside the door i'm not really sure what i'm gonna make for lunch when i get back um but i'll probably think of something in my head when i'm walking back if i want to be a bit creative yesterday's lunch oh my gosh was so so good i wish i'd soaked lentils again to like make it for the second time in a row because when i like something i will eat it non-stop for quite a long time or for like ever i don't know if it's because i have earrings in or i'm just stressed but i'm not even stressed it's really weird when all the heat in my body just gets concentrated in my ears it makes me feel so bad like i actually hate it you can see they're really red right now can you see that like i'm not making this up but yeah like does anyone else get this or is it just me like 
Me and regulating my own body temperature. It's rainoids. Okay, let's be real. And maybe I have some weird ear thing as well. The lights just turned off, that was weird. Okay, so we should all know by now that when I am experimenting in the kitchen, it could go one of two ways. Most of the time, it doesn't go entirely to plan, and that's probably because I find a recipe and then I change every single ingredient, expecting it to still work. But I gave it my best shot at trying to make my own homemade bagel made in the air fryer. It felt creative and I was really craving something like this, so you just have to listen to your body, especially when you're on your period and your cravings might change and you're naturally going to feel hungry. So this was very much an experiment. Um, no idea what it's going to taste like. It's kind of falling apart, but hummus, avocado, tomato, oyster sauce that was running out and like ruined the vibe. It's definitely not quite right, but we tried. We um, we were experimenting. Mm. How I kind of rate food is very different to the norm. I feel, um, but I like it. I kind of made it into an open spread bagel thing because it just would have fallen apart if i had tried to put everything in i don't mind when things go wrong i'm just proud of myself for trying for giving something new a go i like it i'll eat it obviously this one stayed together this is a whole half of the bagel and it is fully formed oh it's actually the top because i put some flaxseed on um yo mm, look at it it's cute it's kind of falling apart but <gasps> it's falling apart definitely i am back at my desk i've just organized some stuff in my room um i'm back with mugs i have a hot not hot chocolate it's kind of like hot cacao i don't know it's a drink that i really like making and then this is just another mug of random stuff um we have some different types of cereal and frozen berries again but yeah i'm gonna get on with some editing and then i'll have tutoring this evening so i was just going to make this into a single a day in my life vlog but there were some other things i wanted to mention since we were on the topic of periods so i did decide to continue this vlog into the next day as well so wednesday i literally just got back from my run it was such a good run. I was running for 50 minutes. It was like a steady run and we did like just over 10K. Pace was like four and a half minutes per kilometer. I just felt so good. Like it was a very good run day. But yeah, I'm just gonna sort myself out now and get changed. I am wearing the same top as yesterday. No comment. We don't need to address why. I just shoved it on again. And this thing, if you watched my Germany travel series, you might have watched this video. Um, but this is my menstrual cup sterilizing pot. It's very tiny. It's a pink color as you can see um it's very cute but this is what i use to clean my menstrual cup you don't clean it every day when you're on your period you only clean it like at the start of your period and then at the end so i'll probably do this tomorrow um you literally just put it in the microwave it takes like two minutes it's so convenient i did get it for like traveling purposes but i use it at home anyway just because it's so much easier than boiling a pan for like 10 minutes and stirring its pan i also mentioned this in spain i just mentioned it in passing i was like i really want to try period knickers and I am actually doing so at the moment, which is really good. The knickers just act as a safety net and they are obviously a lot better for the planet as opposed to using panty liners and like a thin pad or something, which I used to use. But that's just the update from me this morning. As I said, I'm gonna get changed now and sort myself out. Not that you asked to see a pair of knickers in this video, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Um, this is just one pair. It doesn't even look like a pair of knickers. <laughs> this is actually my favorite pair. They're so soft. They have like a lining bit in. That's what kind of makes them different to normal knickers, but they're really good as i said i really like them and i'm so happy that i'm like transitioning to using them now but yeah if you ever have any questions like you're always more than welcome to comment down below or send me a dm on instagram i am always happy to help where i can um and yeah so that is today's video for you guys i really hope you found it useful insightful and just relatable because you are definitely not alone if you experience changes in your mood confidence and productivity when you're on your period and so that is why i'm here and leaving you with one final reminder to always love and accept your body for some of the amazing things it can do and yeah definitely i like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more and i will speak to you very soon in another video bye guys Got it, that works. This bit of hair is like not staying back, it's really annoying me. I'm actually surprised this hasn't gone all down me today. I always have tissues at my desk because, I don't know, I just always need tissues. I'm back at my desk with loads of mugs. <laughs> crash bang, crash bang, is this on?
And everyone gets stressed now and then, but like this was chronic stress. Ooh. Oh, we need to like stretch a little bit. I just don't understand what's going on. Oh my God, this is so weird. I look like an egghead right now, but I feel like someone was staring at me walk and then walk back to the camera. It's fine. Just, you know, vlogging things. Mm -mm. I think it's balsamic onion hummus. So good with the avocado, poison sauce, mm. and the tomato. It's a vibe. Excuse me. But as we're talking about periods in this video, I hate the fact that you can see a towel in the background. Gains. Little flex. Apparently, I have just shown you my knickers. Standard in a holly video, right? Wow. Oh, 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 o